Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. Just in case you think you've wandered into the wrong course, this is not the science of molecular gastronomy. This is still music technology. The reason we're here in my kitchen is that Luke is going to demonstrate how to record a series of sounds while I'm making some lunch. Yeah, this demonstration will help you with your practical activity for this week, which is to record three sounds from around your local environment. The sounds that you record for this week will be used as ingredients for further practical activities during the course, so it's important that you record at least three sounds. Creating a meal can be very similar to creating a piece of music. Throughout this course, we're going to be talking about musical recipes. A recipe, like the one I'm using today to make lunch, consists of a list of ingredients and some instructions about what to do with those ingredients. By preparing a meal, before you begin to create a piece of music, you first need some ingredients. And these ingredients are sounds. And then you have various tools, like musical instruments and software. And you also have techniques that you can apply to the ingredients. So I'm going to start preparing lunch, which should create a good variety of sounds for Luke to record. For this example, I'm going to be using my mobile phone as a recording device, which is an iPhone 6 and it has a Rode microphone attached to it. Okay, well I think Stephen's now underway, so let's get started and record some sounds. An important note before we go too much further, whatever device you choose to use for this activity, it'll have some level meters on it. If these go up into the red while you're recording, you can pull the recording device further away from the sound that you are recording, or you'll need to adjust the input levels or the gain and turn the microphones down. You ideally want the levels to remain below the red to prevent the sound clipping or distorting. Make sure that you check your input levels with each new sound that you record. Here I'm uh, shaving some uh, cheese and it makes a nice rhythmic scraping sound. So I'm filling the pot with water and if you listen carefully you'll hear how the pitch of the sound changes as the pot gets more full. Banging the saucepan lid on the bench top isn't actually part of the recipe, but it made such a good sound that I thought we'd include it as well. You can hear it has a distinct pitch, almost like a bell. While I'm switching on the gas burner, you can hear the ignition sound, which is a high pitch clicking sound, which is quite fast and very rhythmical. I'm switching on the fan of the range hood here, and as I increase the speed of the fan, you can hear how the sound gets louder uh, and also it changes in frequency. So you can hear that sizzling sound, which is a continuous sound increases in loudness as it sizzles more but if you listen very carefully to the sound you can also hear that there are continuous very small variations in the nature of the sound so although it's a noise it actually has quite a bit of variety in it. Well Stephen's prepared lunch and we've now got a great selection of sounds recorded. I hope this has given you some ideas on how you can record your sounds for this week's activity. Remember the sounds that you record this week will form the basis for your future practical activities in this course.